Hello and welcome to another Vero software video on using Cabinet Vision Solid. Last time, I went over editing objects that were placed on a wall and then saving that object into our library for later use. This time I want to cover placing countertops in a job because what kitchen, bathroom, etc. is really complete without one. First thing I want to show you is how to manually create a countertop. To start it off, we need to either click on the Tops button or press the F4 key on our keyboard. Now, wait, what did Cabinet Vision just do? I seem to have lost all the detail on my drawing. Well, Cabinet Vision does this by default to make it easier for us to create, edit, uh, or delete countertops. If you didn't notice, Cabinet Vision also has this red outline that follows uh, wall number one here. This is an, uh, hmm, wall face association outline? Yeah, we'll call it that. Whatever it's actually called, it lets me, the person drawing the countertop, know that uh, whatever top I build will be associated to this side of wall number one. Clicking on different areas of the screen allows me to set which wall and face my countertop will be associated to. For now, let's just keep it on wall one's face. To build a top manually, I need to click on the new top button over here in the sidebar. This brings up my countertop drawing tools. The default tool that is uh, selected is the add point tool. So I'm going to start adding some points, not with any precision mind you, just in places that will give me a general countertop outline. We could finalize the top right now by clicking on return and have a countertop. But I want to add a little more data to the outline so that Cabinet Vision can make a better top. You can see our edge tools here. These allow us to do exactly that. Let's click on the finished edge tool and set these two edges as such. Next, let's add a splash here. And finally, let's set the budding edge here. So I've created an outline, assigned edge information, and all that's left to do is click the return button. Cabinet Vision prompts me to save the shape, which of course I do want to do, so I'll just click yes. We can see my new top has been created with the information that I specified. If we go to the 3D view, we can see it a bit better. Unfortunately, it's not right. The overhang on the front of the top is too large, while the overhang on the left edge is just a little too small. We could go and edit the shape of, and uh, change the points around, but I've just come to the assumption that this is taking me way too long. All I really want is a set of straight countertops that butt together and cover all the base cabinets in this room. Lo and behold, the designers of Cabinet Vision thought I might. So they gave me another option to countertop creation. Moving back to the plan view, let's click on the tops button again. Before, we created a manual top by clicking on the new top button. This time, I want Cabinet Vision to do all the heavy lifting here. So let's click on the auto build tops button. In case you're wondering why I didn't delete the old top first, it's kind of because I don't have to. As you can see here, under Warning, all of the tops will be rebuilt, meaning that any tops that are there will be deleted first. So be absolutely sure you want to do this before moving ahead. Since we're sure we want to do this, we can either auto-build a top for the entire room, which will place a countertop on all the base cabinets, or we can build a top for the currently selected wall face. Remember that wall association outline we talked about earlier? That's the wall that will get the top if we use this option. Now, I should point out, if I do the current wall face option, then only tops that are on the wall with the association outline will be rebuilt. Just a little food for thought. Now, I want to do the entire room, so I will reselect the entire room option and click OK. And now we have a nicely laid out set of countertops one for each wall. There's even a top on the loan cabinet we placed when talking about saving cabinets. If we bring this to the 3D view, we can get a better look at what Cabinet Vision did for us. So now you can see just how easy it is to create countertops with Cabinet Vision Solid.